What's up guys? Liam here. I'm going to turn this down for copyright. And welcome back to LSJ TV. So, today, we're going to be talking supplements. What should you guys be doing in order to hit that protein intake? What should you be doing in order to maintain as much muscle mass as possible around this time? Okay? We're going to get into it. I'm going to finish off my session. Got some errands to run. It's going to be a good video. Drop it a like if you are excited. Comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. Welcome to the team. I appreciate you. And let's get it started, people. Wow. Okay. Busy, busy day. Busy day, people. Very productive day, though. Hope you're doing good. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, do me a favor. Drop it a like. Really helps out. Let's smash 60 on this one, yeah? 60. 60 likes. <laughs> oh, as if I'm begging for 60 likes. So the current situation here in the UK is that we are not on lockdown, um, but everything is shut. Everything that you would want to do or go and want, want to go and do is shut. Um, not that I would go and do it now anyway, um, but you know, today KFC shut their doors until further notice. That's how you know shit's getting real, okay? So I'm actually nipping to Sainsbury's now to try and get a couple bits. Hopefully it'll be quiet. Um, I figured I would show you what it was like. Uh, last time I went, there was nothing on the shelves and I could get fuck all. Um, so it's going to be interesting. And, uh, well, let's see how it is, shall we? I I'm not hopeful of getting much stuff, to be honest. Okay, huge demand for products across our well, there's actually some fruit for starters, which makes it better than the other day already. But we're looking at picking up a few bananas and that though, but you need to wipe your ass. This is not the place to be. Flipping heck, man. Hey, look, guys, some tissues, but I've actually got some of them at home, so I'm just gonna leave them there and walk away from it. See how easy that was? Don't need it, don't buy it. This is not actually as bad as I was expecting. It's loads better than the other day. Like the other day, this shelf, I mean, don't get me wrong, the milk's empty and the shampoo was empty and stuff like that, but it's way better than it was the other day. There's a limit of three at everything, you can only get three of them. Oh, is that? Yeah. I thought it was two and a two. That's fine, it's fine. I'll tell you what, that was not half bad. That was not bad at all. Um, couldn't get the obvious, you know, couldn't get toilet roll or kitchen roll or anything like that really um, however there was fruit and veg there was no meat no chicken nothing like that um, I, I don't know it, it was okay it, it was okay so now the plan is to go home get some dinner and uh, watch old Boris give his announcement and tell us that we're going on lockdown <laughs> hey mum dad oh. I got us some free bread. free bread yeah free they said it was going in the bin take one of these look Without a huge national effort to halt the growth of this virus, there will come a moment when no health service in the world could possibly cope. Because there won't be enough. And that is that, people. Essentially lockdown, but not fully. But uh, anyway, I'm not bothered about my freaking haircut, you know? And I'm not going to be able to see Charlotte, which is going to be tough. Um, but, you know, it's for the greater good, and it's not forever. Our grandparents were sent to war. We have been sent to sit on our couches. We can cope with this, you know? Um, I've got a story about that for another time, anyway. Um, so, I'm just gonna finish up some cardio. I've got about 20 minutes left on here. Hope you're all doing good. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, smash it a like. 60, let's hit 60. 60 likes, you've done it. You like the video, you have. 60, is it above 60? Like it anyway. If it's below 60, 
definitely like it because well, it will just fuel my ego, won't it? <laughs> okay, so let's talk supplements. This actually wasn't planned um, in any way, however, it worked out perfectly, so I'm not going to complain. I've got this extra package come through uh, in the mail from my friends at my protein. As you guys know, I actually work with my protein, I have a code, I have a link, all this kind of stuff. Um, I actually also do monthly giveaways for people that use the link and the code. Send me a screenshot of your order and I will add you to the list at the end of the month. I will pick someone to win something from my protein. More often than not, it's a clear way, which we'll get to in a minute, or some pre-workout, or something like that. But anyway, they have sent a nice little extra package here, and inside, we have four products. Product numero uno, zinc. Product numero dos, vitamin D3. These are way smaller than I was expecting. Product numero tres is a daily, I'm gonna drop it, daily multivitamin. And product numero cuatro is vitamin C plus. So, are these essential? No. No, I'm gonna be straight up, even though I work with the company, these things, in particular, these four, are not essential. However, with the whole situation going on right now, everybody is pretty much indoors a lot of the time. Having a few extra vitamins and a few extra minerals in your diet is not gonna do any harm in any way, okay? In particular, um, I have been interested to try this uh, zinc product. Um, suppose that, well, I've heard good things from very biased people that also work with the company. However, um, I've heard good things about zinc just as a general rule. Um, taking it before bedtime, helping you relax, deeper sleep and all this kind of stuff. Magnesium being kind of put in the same bracket um, as that. They actually have a combined product, uh, but this one is just the zinc, so maybe we'll try that one day. Um, but yeah, these are definitely not essential, and on that note, neither is any supplement. Um, again, I work with a supplement company, and I'm not going to bullshit you the, and say, use my code, use my link, all of these products are absolutely essential for you to stay on track. No, that is not the case in any way, shape, or form, right? What I would definitely recommend you pick up first is a decent flavoured protein that you can quite happily have as a shake in your oats, wherever you, I tend to have it as my, in my oats now, generally speaking, my, um, my protein shake consumption has actually gone down a lot since my protein brought out the clear weight isolate, okay? Um, a clear weight isolate is essentially like a juice, so I'll get to it, I'll get to it in a minute, I take that after my workout, I'll have one in a minute with my dinner, um, and it will, I just enjoy it, I enjoy it a lot more, and I, I like the taste of the chocolatiness, in my, um, in my oats in the morning, and then I tend to have the kind of fruity flavors, the mojitos and stuff, before bed with the clear ways. But none of them, and I repeat, none of them are essential. But are they gonna do you any harm in particular right now? Absolutely not. Um, people tend to, and I've actually had messages about this, people tend to go the complete opposite way and say, right, I'm gonna sack off the gym because it's closed, and I'm gonna sack off all of my supplements because I'm not going to the gym when actually now you need to focus on protein intake more than ever. You need to focus on keeping that protein intake high, keeping that diet as balanced as you possibly can, bearing in mind all the factors with the limited food resources and all this kind of stuff and not wanting to be greedy and taking it off the shelves. Try and eat as much fruit and as much veg as you possibly can. Consider supplementing with these kind of vitamins and all this kind of stuff. Um, and make sure over everything you are prioritizing your protein intake because that is what's gonna help you maintain as much muscle mass in this kind of whatever phase, however long it, tends, it, it winds up being, you need protein to maintain your muscle. You need protein to build muscle, and so you need it to maintain it just as much, right? But people tend to kind of think, right, I'm bulking, I need a ton of protein, and then just zap it when they're cutting or when they're not going to the gym or whatever. So don't forget it completely, and you should be okay. Anyone that knows me, well, if you're new here, I, I love protein snacks, and basically, protein snacks for me um, replace uh, a chocolate bar. They replace a Twix, if I really fancy a Twix. They replace, you know, a Kit Kat. My protein actually have a light for light replacement for a Kit Kat. Um, however, I have not actually tried it, but I've heard very good things. Again, from very biased sources, but you know, they ain't gonna lie. Well, actually, they might, but apparently they're really good. This chocolate sundae layered bar is actually my favorite. You get 20 grams of protein, only 2.4 grams of sugar. These taste like pop chips. If I get a meal deal, um, I always have a chicken and bacon sandwich, pop chips, and a white monster, because white monster's cheap in the old meal deal, you know? And so, as a replacement for them, if I'm not having a meal deal and I fancy a bit of, a bit of protein and I just fancy a, a packet of crisps, 
then I'll have something like that. It's even more so when I'm dieting, which I am right now, I use products like that as a replacement for the, the kind of sweet things that, that I fancy late at night. If I, if I have a chocolate craving, that's a timer for my dinner. If I have a chocolate craving at night, I will reach for a protein bar or during the day around lunchtime, I will reach for a protein bar. Basically, my meal kind of plan is three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't follow any of this bodybuilder, five, six, seven tiny meals per day um, because of the metabolism and all this kind of, I'm not about that life. I'm about the breakfast, lunch, and dinner, keep it simple, have a snack in between and a protein shake or something like that. I find that works perfectly for me, but then again, I have friends that don't even take it that seriously and they do prefer little and often foods. You just gotta find what works for you and stick with that. And the same applies for supplements. You don't wanna go nuts and spend all your money, but you also, if you can afford something, you wanna get something because it's not gonna do any harm especially now. As a general rule, I use protein snack. I would class them as a supplement because they're sold by the same company and it's kind of like a supplement of extra protein kind of thing. It's not really a supplement, is it? It's not a protein shake or a, or a vitamin or anything like that. But anyway, protein bars I use as a replacement if I fancy something like a, a chocolate bar. And likewise with the protein crisps, if I fancy something like the McCoy's crisps, they are, oh, they are perfect. But they're like 250 calories per packet. They are 100 calories and 11 grams of protein, I believe. But do you need them? One more time, do you need them? The simple answer is no. You can get this from food, the majority anyway, for the most part, you can get from food. Granted, the, the shelves are kind of empty right now, so you know you might struggle to get some chicken, so you might need a shake to up that protein intake, but that's not gonna be forever. That's only a small kind of phase. If you're watching this video in the future, while this whole thing has, has buggered off and we're back to normal a little bit more, yeah. Try have some chicken before you reach for the protein shake, but whatever floats your boat, you know? <clears throat> so, right now, I am currently taking, before this kind of batch arrived, Omega 3 Plus, glucose, glucosamine sulfate and A to Z multivitamin. I actually have um, a few left of each, probably a good two weeks worth um, of each meal, of each one left, not meal. I usually have it with a meal, which is what I'm about to do right now. So I just take one of these a day, uh, and in particular since I've taken the glucosamine, um, I do really, really notice a difference joints-wise. Um, I mean, it's not a magic pill, nothing is, but I've definitely noticed a difference. Side note, guess how many calories is in this meal right here, and I'll give you a free entry. I'll give the person who gets the closest to the amount of calories in this bowl a free entry for, what month is it? March. <laughs> what you are currently looking at, ladies and gentlemen, is the pinnacle. It is the shrine it is everything. So up here I keep, um, well, everything else. I keep my pre-workouts, I keep my clear ways up here. Basically anything that I've mentioned in this video is it, it, pretty much kept on this shelf right here. I don't actually have enough space. I've kind of built it all up. I've got the pump products, pre-workout, pre-workout, pre-workout plus, bunch of CBD and all this kind of stuff. Uh, proteins all at the top and the rest of my snacks. Um, I actually keep them uh, there on the basis that, um, well, I don't want to clutter up the entire house, but that's not even all of it. The garage is full. This is full. Uh, I need some more storage for my uh, for my protein stuff. I do work with the company though. I'm not saying go out and buy this amount of stuff. Worth noting that I've said a lot of this stuff, or pretty much all of it, is not essential, right? Pre-workout is definitely the top of the non-essential list, but it still goes very high on my personal list. It's something that I really enjoy. I enjoy sipping on the pre-workout. I enjoy bombing it every now and then, you know. It's just fun. It's part of the process for me. It's what I like. It's what I enjoy doing. Um, and so it goes fairly high up on my list, but in terms of absolute necessity, it's just not, you can have a coffee or you don't even need any kind of stim or some people don't anyway. I just enjoy it and so I take it. But that's pretty much it guys. That is all of it up there in the distance. This one here is actually the new Hero Protein. That um, that kind of tastes like a, 
it kind of tastes like a munch bunch, you know, the, the, the yogurt you had as a kid, um, the two-sided one. It kind of tastes a little bit like that. I can also feel it being a good one for the summer to make into like ice lollies, stick the popsicle sticks in there and stuff. I feel like that would be really good. Um, but yeah, that's that, that's pretty much it. Um, that is what I am kind of currently taking, uh, what is in my current stack. I am going to finish off the day with some uh, flavour drops in the toffee flavour. Stick that into this Isla protein yoghurt. Um, it is a strawberry flavoured one with 20 grams of protein. Literally just put a few drops of the toffee drops in, stir it in. Oh my god, it's amazing. I, I eat it pretty much every day on my Instagram story. So if you're not already following me on there, go ahead and follow me. You're missing out on daily Liam. Daily LSJ content. <laughs> Gonna smash this before bed, add this clip that you are watching into this video right here, which is the video that you have just watched. Schedule it, upload it, and go to sleep. Thanks for watching, like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope you have enjoyed. Together we will grow. I appreciate you all, and I will see you 